Hi guys, welcome to Origin. In this video I want to talk about how we assess ideas. In my videos, in the past, I've supported two quite controversial ideas. First, the earlier one being the Venus Project, the second one being the whole thing with Variablast. Given the reputation that these two ideas have, understandably people have asked me, how can I support it? Yeah, so some people even going so far as to make that great appeal to emotion. You know, how can an otherwise intelligent person support this idea? This video is me answering that question in as much detail as I possibly can. So let me start with a question. I've been arguably the most vocal opponent of groupthink in our community on YouTube. Now, the community tends to reach a consensus on ideas fairly quickly and then anyone who opposes that consensus they get eaten alive. The most common tactic is that you just get disregarded as a crazy person. So the first question is that warranted in the case of people who support the Venus Project and Very Blast in what he does? And I don't want you to just answer that with a yes or no question, uh, answer. I want you to give proper explanation. Like, are there legitimate grounds on which to question Variablast's mental state? Is every member of the Zeitgeist movement a conspiracy theorist? Has your individual assessment of the idea possibly been rushed by the consensus that the community has already come to? In other words, have you been able to break free, break free of the groupthink and make your own individual assessment based on you know, the best available knowledge of how the idea works and any other related factors? Now I do want you to give this some thought because you know, I'm, I'm not saying that you are a drone or anything like that but groupthink plays a much, much bigger role than you might think in every aspect of human life. Let me tell you where I stand now because my mind can change quite quickly. The Venus Project. Basically I see I see potential for it to be a very good idea. I'm unsure on the transitional stage. You know, I, 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 I've not found out much about it. I've not, I've not seen it in any of the Zeitgeist movies. I've not heard anything about it on the website or anything like that. I don't know <clears throat> how that might happen. I've had some I've had a few people PM me with ideas, their own ideas. But they they don't come straight from the founders of the Venus Project or from Peter Joseph or any, anyone like that. I do have a few concerns. Now I had a conversation two years ago if the person who I had the conversation with wants to identify himself in the comment section, he can. I'm not going to do that here. But, you know, this person told me that the Venus Project was basically indistinguishable from communism. If I remember right, it's that the end goal of communism is the same as the end goal of the Venus Project. Now, I found getting details about the end goal of communism extremely difficult to research. So I can't absolutely, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving you a 100% set position here. But it does seem to me that you can't ignore the similarities. Having said that, and, you know, I am ignorant of this subject. I'm sorry if it's, you know, I'm sorry if I end up embarrassing myself here. But from what I understand, the problem with communism wasn't the end goal. It was the implementation of the transition phase. You know, most of the dictators who wanted to try and, you know, transition from capitalism to communism didn't give up their power and they just became, well, dictators. Now, I do know about stuff like the food shortages and everything. That's not comparable to the Venus Project because their plan is to use technology to produce an abundance of these things. So is it a communist society? From what I can see, it is. But if you're calling it a communist society to just demonise it and just have people reject it out of hand, I strongly oppose that. You should always 
assess the details of the idea. If, that, if that's why people have rejected it, I invite you to give it a second thought. Another problem, well, the, not, not that I have, but that people have brought up to me in talking about it on my video comment sections or in PMs or private conversations or anything like that, it, the actions of members of the Venus Project and members of the Zeitgeist movement in particular. On one of my Venus Project videos, I quite recently got a comment saying, you know, I asked them for the equations of their supercomputer that, you know, analyzes the resources of the planet and knows how to allocate everything. And they couldn't provide me with those equations. When I asked for them, they blocked me or something like that. This should be fairly obvious, but just in case it is misunderstood by anyone, that's not a problem with the idea, that's a problem with the people who have the idea. It's unclear who responded to this person as well, it might not be anyone who... It, it, might, it might not have been Jack Fresco. It's grounds to criticise them on the basis of PR, especially if they're expecting to be in charge of the transitional, transitional phase. That would severely undermine the credibility of them, you know, as a leader. Who's to say they wouldn't pull a Stalin? And again, that also relates to the transitional phase, and you know, as I said, I don't know many of the details, I don't know how it would be carried out. And the other thing is, I saw a video, I think, I think it was featured on Divinity's channel, basically, some members of the Zeitgeist movement have openly endorsed violent revolution in the form of, you know, mass murder. Again, very bad PR, but even that video was careful to point out that that doesn't necessarily discredit the Venus Project as an idea. In fact, they mentioned that Jacques Fresco is now trying to distance himself from the entire Zeitgeist movement. I don't know if this is true, I haven't checked it myself, but that, that's what the video maker said. And the other thing is the problem with conspiracy theorists in the Zeitgeist movement. Peter Joseph himself, in his first Zeitgeist video, supported that 9-11 was an inside job idea. Now, just to set the record straight, I've never come across a conspiracy which I found particularly convincing. I don't buy any of them. But with that first video, Peter Joseph very strongly tied the 9-11 conspiracy theory to the Venus Project. And again, it shouldn't undermine the worth of the idea, but for PR reasons it will be associated with it. It'll make people think, oh no, the people who believe this idea are demonstrably crazy. So no, not happening. My assessment of the Venus Project has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with Jacques Fresco or Peter Joseph or the Zeitgeist movement. It doesn't take into account any of these PR considerations I talked about. The only considerations are, is the end product going to mean a much better life like they claim, you know, are there claims about how it would work based on sound logic, you know, they, they don't necessarily need to have all the details, this is an idea, something which should happen, you know, the implementation is something you fill in later. And my honest assessment, based on what I currently know, is that, yeah, it could, it could work, the end result could definitely be much better for us if we can get there, if we can solve the problem of the transitional phase. As usual, if anyone wants to contest anything I've said, feel free to do so, feel free to be as vitriolic as you need to be, that doesn't matter. Let's just have the discussion and hope it's beneficial. Very a blast. Now, I already have a 20 plus minute video dedicated to talking about that whole thing. It's called Very a Blast and the All-Powerful N-Word. And as I said in that video, this is another idea that suffers from bad PR. Varia Blast has been kind of like plastered with this idea that he's crazy. I've heard it from more people than I can count, but I haven't really heard any rationale for why he's crazy. And yeah, he, he writes on his furniture, that's not something that a lot of people do, granted, but it's not crazy in the sense that, you know, he's just not obeying social norms there. 
as far as I'm concerned, it's his furniture, he can do what he likes with it. Just because he writes on it and not many other people do doesn't necessarily mean he's crazy, it just makes him, well straight dope used the word eccentric, I think that's more apt, if you like. He is still, from what I've seen, very intolerant of dissent, he doesn't want to hear it from anyone. You know, I picked him up on that in the 20 minute video. He seemed to acknowledge it, but from what I've seen, doesn't, hasn't really done anything about it. And I don't think he ever will. Again, that doesn't really make him crazy, just close-minded on this issue. But enough of that, what about the actual idea? There are two other arguments which I didn't raise in the video, which I have in the description. I'm going to go over them quickly. The first one is that the definition should remain as it is, as a lesson as to what racism can do. Yeah, I'm not convinced by that one at all. There's many different ways that you can teach people about racism. There's other examples of words that, you know, if you use you could get called a racist as well, so, you know, they, they might not be as significant as nigger, but you get the idea. Even without alternatives, it doesn't matter, there are still other ways you can teach people about racism. The other one was that the definition won't ever die completely. That's true, and I don't believe Very Blast has ever said that it will. When he's talked about it, he's always said, you know, that definition would be marked in the dictionary as archaic. And again, it's not about fighting racism, it's about the fact that you shouldn't be afraid of any individual word. It doesn't make any sense to be afraid of a word, it's a bunch of letters. Now, I think I addressed this in the other video, but this hasn't stopped people simply calling it stupid or silly or ridiculous, you know, because they think it sounds stupid or silly or ridiculous, and there's absolutely no rationale given for it. So I'm going to have to spit a bit of venom here. That's not a logical assessment of an idea. But what's even worse about it is that to people who don't know better it can be a very powerful persuasive technique, especially if it's already a consensus. Criticizing someone's intelligence or mental state because of an idea they support, you know, on absolutely no valid grounds, simply for the purpose of trying to persuade others not to adopt their idea is dishonest. If you are logically in the right, you have absolutely no reason to do that whatsoever. It's only people who have absolutely no case that have to resort to stuff like that in order to sound even remotely convincing. So for either of the two ideas on this video, if you're going to say that it's stupid or silly or ridiculous, back it up. I normally respond to every comment. I'm not going to respond to ones which don't, which, you know, make, make that claim that it's stupid or silly or ridiculous and don't back it up. Unless, of course, you want to argue about what I've just said. The other argument that was brought up was what about the other one, the alternate spelling, N-I-G-G-A? Well, that seems to me like it's missing the point, it's dodging the issue for the same reasons that Concordance brought up in his video about you know, burning the Quran. If you want to use an alternate version of the word, then you're not confronting your, the problem, you're simply ignoring it. The problem is the spelling N-I-G-G-E-R. That's the one with the power. That's the one which is still causing all the problem today. Some people have called Varia Blast a Poe. If that's the case, he's the single most dedicated Poe in history because he spent the last year making like, over 2,000 videos about this. The last thing I'll say about the very blast issue, someone criticised my point that, you know, it is possible for this thing to happen by saying, you know, well, it may, it may well be possible, but it's not very probable. It is a mammoth task, this idea, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Now, having said all that, in my last video on this subject, I said that I would be content with the power of the word just going away. And someone in the comment section 
brought up that you know some black people are already using it as you know they're reclaiming that word themselves now I would settle with encouraging that in fact I want to go further and say if someone uses a certain word to describe you it could be something innocent as you know describing your political position you know liberal conservative or it could be one of the more racist words I've just talked about what you have to realize is that these words have absolutely no power in and of themselves the only reason you think they do is because you give them power you give them the power to offend you these words offend you because society has ingrained in your head that these words are offensive there is no basis for that idea that these words are offensive now when you truly understand that you can start stripping away this non-existent power that the word has and then you can do what the youtuber who commented on my video described you can reclaim the word by saying you know I am this and I'm proud of it and even with the political labels I described people do this I've heard very logical, very rational people say stuff like I'm not some wishy-washy liberal left-wing lunatic or something like that. If that's what you really are, why distance yourselves from the most simple description of it that you can possibly find? All because people for, as I said, no supportable reason look down on it. I reckon this will be quite a long video, it is nearly over, I just want to summarise what I've said very simply when it comes to assessing ideas forget about you know who's, who already supports it how shady they might be or any of these irrelevant factors that have nothing whatsoever to do with the actual idea itself assess only the idea on the basis of you know can it work thank you for watching goodbye